Hands down, the number one complaint I get when it comes to cooking is I don't have enough time to actually get in the kitchen and do it. Maybe I work super long hours and I come home and I'm really tired, or I go to school and I have to study. There's a million reasons, we're all super busy. Whatever it is, people don't wanna come home and cook elaborate dinners that take hours. But that does not mean you still can't cook quick things that are gonna be delicious, that are gonna trick you into thinking that you're eating gourmet restaurant quality food that all happen in minutes. Now, one of my favorite cuisines that can make that happen is Asian food. Honestly, Asian food is the best for quick cooking because everything happens fast. Everything can happen in one pot. You don't have to build flavors for hours, cook down sauces for hours. No, honestly, just a few simple pantry ingredients that you can have always lying around. Throw that together, you're gonna get something awesome. So what I'm gonna do for you guys today is cook up a noodle dish live to show you how quick it is to really make something awesome. So let's put the timer on the clock and see what happens starting now. Okay, so the first thing is I'm gonna boil water. You can obviously boil water right in your pot, but for the sake of time, I'm gonna do it in the kettle. That's the quickest. While that's boiling, I'm gonna get some vegetables. Okay, you can use anything you got in your fridge. I've got mushrooms, scallions, and half a pepper. That's really all you need. I'm gonna slice, oh, sticker, cut him off first. Slice the pepper down. And the cool thing about this dish is it's happening in one pot and basically you're adding all of your vegetables to the boiling noodles. So they're basically just gonna boil right with the noodles cooked down. They're gonna be delicious. They're gonna absorb all that flavor. You don't have to worry about cooking them on the side. Fuck that shit. So slice up some pepper and slice it thin so it cooks fast. You know, if you slice things thinner, they're gonna cook faster. It's pretty obvious. Okay, the water is boiling, which is a very good sign. Pepper sliced. Let's move on to the mushrooms. You know what, we should wash these off. I'm seeing some dirt. Just scrub them off real quick. And we just need a few of them. Okay. You gotta love one pot cooking. It doesn't get better than that. That's what we kinda do on the Brothers Green. We try to simplify awesome dishes so you guys can cook it in no time. Water is boiling, so I'm gonna get the wok on. High heat. So when it's boiling, it's just gonna continue to boil. All right? And I'm just dumping enough water in there to basically boil my noodles and create the flavoring of the soup. So whatever you have in there, that's gonna be the amount of broth that you're getting with your noodle dish. All right, continue slicing these mushies. Just a few more. Okay, see we're already boiling. That's a good sign. It went straight from the kettle into there. That took like one minute. So since that's boiling, I'm gonna take some noodles. And when it comes to Asian noodles, there are a million varieties. These are like your classic ramen noodles. The ones that come pre-dried that cook very quickly. That's good for a dish like this, but if you look in my pantry, right here, I got these type of noodles. I've got buckwheat noodles. I've got regular spaghetti. I got so many different noodles, so whatever I'm kind of feeling at the time, I just whip out, throw it in there, and you know, max they're gonna take five to seven minutes. So I'm gonna toss maybe two of these blocks in there. That should be good for, you know, one to two portions, depending on how much you wanna eat. Okay, and just let those kind of separate. That should happen quickly. And now what I'm gonna start doing is building the base of this noodle dish. All of the flavoring. All of it is really happening with just some pantry ingredients that I always have lying around. Like your core Asian pantry ingredients that you guys should have. First thing, miso paste. 
so delicious. The easiest way to build a soup base. We're not making miso soup, so we don't need a ton, but still it's fermented soybeans, so it has a lot of flavor. And if you just take, you know, a chunk of it with your fingers, you put it right in there, that's gonna be a maybe a little more. That's gonna be like the starting of the base of your, your noodle dish. Put that back in the fridge. If you were making miso soup, you would add like four times the amount. But we just want a little bit of the flavor without making it too, too salty. Okay, next thing, little bit of vinegar. Vinegar, very important. Don't do too much because then your, your noodle dish is gonna taste super vinegary, but you still want it to really enhance the flavor without like, oh Jesus, that's a lot of vinegar. So just add, you know, maybe a tablespoon of that. Sriracha, spiciness. Instead of chopping up peppers, you can just add the sriracha right into there. That also has garlic, that has sugar, so you're getting a lot of other flavors in there as well. Soy sauce. We all know what soy sauce does. It adds a nice salty kick and good flavor. Instead of just adding salt, which is just saltiness, soy sauce takes things to another level. It's the same thing as adding miso paste. That's what's great about Asian cooking. Instead of just adding salt, you're gonna add salty umami tasting things that also have flavor without just fricking adding salt to water, basically. Okay. Sesame oil. Sesame oil is so delicious. We use it all the time, the Brothers Green. The only thing you have to worry about is not adding too much because again, it's gonna overpower your noodle dish. But just a little splash of that is gonna be awesome. It's gonna go a long way. I see these noodles are starting to cook down, which is a good sign. So what I'm gonna do right now is a few things. One, I'm gonna take an egg and I'm gonna put it right in here and I'm gonna try to half boil this egg. We'll see if that works. If not, it's not a big deal. That just makes it a little fancier. I love half boiled eggs in my noodles. If you go to ramen shops, you always get them and it enhances it to the next level. It's so delicious. So we'll see what happens. We'll try to cook that. You know what, I should set the timer for six minutes because that's how long it usually takes to half boil an egg. Okay. And then also, I'm gonna take out some of the noodles right now, now that they're about half cooked. And I'm just gonna crisp them up. Because when you have a noodle dish like this, there's gonna be a lot of soft textures. So what I'm gonna do is get some crispy texture in there and just fry up some noodles, put it on a paper towel, dry it, and then just get another pan going. Of course, this is completely optional. You don't have to go and take this extra step. But for me, since I've done this so many times and I'm good at just like the base, I can start adding cool little twists to it. So let's get those right into the oil and just get some crispy noodles. We'll see if that works too. I've never really done that, but I'm trying new twists and turns. Okay, so what we're gonna do at this point is try the soup. Let me get a spoon. Try the soup for flavor. Okay, not bad, pretty spicy. Good flavor though. I think if we add these mushrooms now, they should cook in about four minutes. And the cool thing is they're gonna add mushroom flavor to the stock or to the soup base, whatever you wanna call it. Add the peppers. Everything's happening together. Everything's adding to the flavor. Okay, just let that cook down. When you're cooking something like this, it's nice to keep it open because as the water evaporates, the soup is gonna condense and it's gonna get more flavorful. So right now when you taste it for the first time, it's like, okay, that's good flavor. Maybe it needs a little more. If it needs a little more, just wait a few minutes and the flavor is really gonna intensify because all of this stuff, all of this evaporation, that's water leaving the soup base, you're left with just flavor. 
the more you cook it, the more flavorful it becomes. And just keep everything kind of moving, make sure it's all cooking nicely. Okay, let's see if it needs any other flavor. Hmm. Let me check out the fridge, see what I got. You know what? I think a little bit more sweetness. I have some honey over here. One of my favorite things when it comes to Asian flavors is sort of that balance between spiciness, between sweetness, between saltiness. Right now there's not much sweetness. There's a little bit of sugar in the sriracha. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of honey. You could use sugar, whatever you want. Just a tiny bit really balance all of those things out. That's kind of the whole goal when you're cooking like this. You just want to get a nice balance of flavor. You wouldn't want just soy sauce in there because it'd be super salty. It's been about five minutes, so that egg should almost be cooked. The noodle dish is looking good. And the noodles are getting super crispy. We'll turn it up a little bit. Okay, in the meantime, I'm gonna chop up some scallions. Scallions are awesome when it comes to Asian cooking because they add a fresh flavor. It's like your garnish, it's like your herb. That means the egg is done. I'll take you out in just a second. So a lot of times I find myself just adding these to the top of anything I make. Great ingredients. Okay. Let's taste the soup. Woo! Oh, the honey. Before I tasted it, before I put the honey in, it was super spicy, it was super intense. The honey, since it balanced out the flavors, really mellowed everything down. It tastes awesome now. The mushrooms are cooked, the peppers are cooked, and the egg should be cooked. Okay, throw the egg in the cold water. All right, we're kind of ready to plate here. Let me grab a bowl for the noodles. This should work just fine. Okay. Crispy noodles. They still need a little more crispiness. I feel like right now they're at like a seven. We need to get them at at least a nine or a 10 on the crispy scale. Okay, pump it up. All right, one more taste on this while the egg is cooling. Oh, heaven. See, you can get really good flavors in five minutes, just with a few ingredients. Okay, so the soup is done. I'm gonna take that and probably use these tongs to put it in here. Mmm, okay, so get some of that. Get some of the good veggies on top. Make sure you get a lot of veggies. Okay, veggies, and then make sure you pour the stock in. All right, crispy noodles just about done. Okay, while those are still getting crispy, I'm gonna go for this egg and see how this is doing. So just lightly crack it. Roll it, give it a few rolls. Now these things are super fragile, so I don't know what's gonna happen. Okay, give it a few rolls, give it a few rolls. It's starting to break into little pieces. And now the goal is to just kind of rip off the shell, which does seem to be coming off kind of nicely. Oh, I'm ripping off some of the egg. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. I 
feel like I'm back on chopped with the time limit right now. Jesus. Okay. So, we got our crispy noodles. We'll turn that off. Separate those a little bit. Okay, so we'll just plate our crispy noodles right in the center there. And that's just gonna add a lot of texture. Then we're gonna take our egg and cut that and just plate that right. -wee. That fell off, no big deal. We got our soft boiled egg. And then of course, scallions for fresh crunch. Good color as well. Look at that, Mama Jama. Going in for the taste. Oh my, mm. Mm. Hold. That is insane. That is insane. Never tried the crispy noodles before. I've seen it in restaurants many times. I've tried it when I'm out. But it takes it to a whole nother level. Everything soft, the eggs, the mushrooms, the peppers. So the crispy noodles are great. You got the scallions or a little bit of crunch. This is fantastic. It just took minutes. I hope you guys will make just a little bit of time in the kitchen. Honestly, I think that's one of the biggest issues. People think it's such a hassle to be cooking, but you can make awesome Asian food in no time. I make fried rice too all the time. There's another video on that we've done. That's my other favorite thing to cook. It's great for all your leftover ingredients. Again, just really simple things coming together to create awesome flavor. I hope you guys will try this and enjoy. Well, I'm gonna enjoy right now. Mm.